We're diving into how to handle malformed JSON in Android using JSON Reader Set Lenient True. Imagine you're fetching JSON data from an API, but sometimes the data isn't perfectly formatted. Maybe a missing comma or an unexpected character. This can cause your app to crash with a JSON syntax exception. The solution? JSON Reader Set Lenient True. Let's break it down. 1. What is JSON? JSON JavaScript Object Notation is a lightweight data interchange format. It's widely used for transmitting data between servers and applications because it's human-readable and easy to parse. 2. What are malformed JSON errors? Malformed JSON means the JSON data doesn't conform to the standard JSON syntax rules. Common errors include missing braces, or brackets, extra commas, or incorrect quoting of strings. 3. The JSON Reader class. Android provides the JSON Reader class to efficiently parse JSON data. By default, JSON Reader is strict and throws an exception if it encounters malformed JSON. This is great for ensuring data integrity, but it can also be problematic if you're dealing with unreliable data sources. 4. Set Lenient True to the rescue, the JSON Reader. Set Lenient True method tells the JSON Reader to be more forgiving. When set to True, the JSON Reader will attempt to parse the JSON even if it contains minor syntax errors. This doesn't mean it'll magically fix the errors. Instead, it tries its best to interpret the data. For example, it might ignore extra commas or unexpected characters, allowing your app to continue processing the data instead of crashing. 5. How to use it First, create a JSON Reader object. Before you start reading the JSON, call setLenient true. Then, proceed to parse the JSON as usual, using methods like write single quote JSON reader dot begin object, write single quote JSON reader dot next name, write single quote JSON reader dot next string, and so on. 6. Important considerations. While set lenient true is useful for handling imperfect data, it's crucial to understand its implications. It can mask serious errors in the JSON data. Using this method, you are essentially saying, I know this JSON might be flawed, but I'll try my best to get some useful data out of it. The risk is that you might misinterpret the data and cause other issues in your application. It is advisable to thoroughly check the JSON data to detect any possible issues. Always aim to address the root cause of the malformed JSON, preferably with the API provider, to prevent future issues. Using setLenient true is a temporary solution, not a long-term fix for consistently receiving malformed JSON. Debugging and validation of the JSON data received from the API should be done regularly.